Hello guys, uh, good day. Uh, welcome to Ininierong Cowboy uh, YouTube channel. Okay, so this is uh, part 2 of our learning session 1 in project construction and management. Okay, so I hope guys na in part 1, uh, so meron tayong uh, natutunan sa mga na-discuss natin. Okay, so we are now on part 2. Then uh, last time, we stop or uh, huminto tayo sa principles of road uh, organization kasi uh, we have to limit our time in a ideal way na yung ating mga viewers is may, may let us say may retention pa okay so pag mahaba kasi masyado ang time uh, hindi Yung iba is parang nawawala ng gana. So, okay. So, we have to limit our time uh, on the discussions. Then, we will make it by parts para at least uh, liliit yung uh, time uh, ng ating mga discussions. Then, siguro is part by part lang tayo. So, hanggang sa matapos yung uh, learning session na ito. Okay. So, we are now on... Uh, organization and uh, business. Okay, so business had been defined as an organization of people with varied skills. Okay, so this is very important guys na yung ating mga members or organization is with skill or qualification na nararapat sa kanilang mga position. Okay, so number two uses capital and talents to produce goods and services. So, this one also, uh, <clears throat> remember na in business, uh, this is the main kwan, output always. So, goods and services. Okay? So, products or let us say service na ginagawa sa ating mga client. Okay? So, or business can be defined as the system through which economic activity uh, was organized by those who set uh, to make a uh, profit. Okay, so uh, in business, guys, this is very important na kailangan ay kumita uh, because uh, this will be used to future development and to sustain the company. So, kasi yung mga uh, companies natin is simple, uh, may mga tao din yung kanilang trabaho sa company nito is yun yung kanilang bread and butter sa kanilang family. So, that is why we need the company to develop also. Then, makakatulong yun sa mga tao na nangangailangan ng trabaho. Okay? Okay, so, in, in terms in construction, business is like selling time of their workers, other machineries, plant, equipment, and uh, money. Okay, so, this is very important in uh, construction industry, guys, because a people or a personnel in the construction is our assets and also the machines. So that is why we need to take care of them, especially those who, uh, those who are key to our accomplishments or to our uh, projects. So that is why we need to to help them in terms of uh, they have problems. Okay, so that is one way of taking care of them. Okay, so <clears throat> number two, uh, this is also very, kuan, very common. So to be effective, uh, human activities have to be done uh, coordinated. Okay, so as what I've said in part one, uh, organization needs a uh, communication or coordination to move forward or uh, let us say uh, to prevent, uh, let us say, a uh, chaos in the company, okay, or disaster. So, kailangan natin ng coordination para at least matapos kung ano yung, or mamit kung ano yung dapat na objective ng company. Especially, example, kung may project tayo, kung ano yung target date, then uh, target na accomplishment, uh, kailangan natin yung matapos. Okay, so kailangan yun ng uh, coordination. Okay, so human activities have to be co coordinated. <clears throat> okay, so in experience also, uh, higher accomplishments is dependent uh, upon the interest 
and willing cooperation of both the project supervisor and uh, workers. Okay, so so for those who are uh, listening, uh, uh, engineering students or future engineers, uh, we know that uh, in the near future you will become uh, supervisors, project supervisors. So, so it is very important to have a good, uh, let us say, um, good connection with your workers. Okay, so remember na uh, these workers are the one doing the job for you. So you are you are the one who are uh, instructing them on what to do, but they are the one. Uh, the workers are the one. Who are on the field okay so especially doing the job so so it's very important to to talk to them the your personnel uh, have a good uh, relationship to them and of course if that happens uh, expect to have higher accomplishments okay so yun yung pinaka important in the construction uh, supervision okay so in my experience also uh, in every koan in every activities that we have uh, made uh, it's the coordination or yung pagtutulungan ng uh, supervisor at nung kanyang mga uh, workers okay <clears throat> okay so what is management okay so management is a process Okay, so it is a process of directing and facilitating the work of people who are organized for a common purpose. Okay, so that is management. So that is why a good management is very important for a company to become big or company to, to become uh, successful. Okay, so this is a process. Okay, so number two. Management is a process of combining the efforts and resources of individuals with a common interest. Okay? So, this is very important. Then, management is a, a function. Okay? So, it's a function of getting things done through the efforts of others. Okay? So, di ba yung uh, management is are the one who are facilitating or giving instructions uh, but our people in the field are the one doing it so that is why it's a function of getting things done through the efforts of others okay so every accomplishment is a group accomplishment so in construction there is no i i or let us say i finished that one so this is uh, always uh, made by a uh, we okay so marami Okay, so as a team, teamwork, okay? A function, uh, management is a function or application of authority and the assumption of responsibility. Okay, so this is very important that the management assumes the responsibility of the personnel, uh, of the personnel in the field or yung na under niya. Okay, so we are now on the management uh, concept. Okay, so management uh, concept number one is management to be effective must be systematic. Okay, so kailangan daw uh, para maging uh, epektibo dapat is organized or systematic yung ating pagka-manage sa ating mga resources and personnel. So things can be done better by means of plan of action. Okay, so in every action, dapat may plan tayo. Okay, so that is why in a uh, construction industry, so if you observe uh, before any activities, especially major activities, plan planning muna yung uh, mag yung mauna. Okay, so that is why uh, before major activity, meron muna ng mga pre uh, pre-planning so kailangan imit yung yung mga magiging affected example uh, meron kang gagawin or may project ka in, in the highway let us say highway so ano ba yung magiging 
uh, magiging effect nun sa community. Example, it can cause a traffic. Okay, so, traffic. Then, ano pa? So, siguro, yung sa ating mga kuan, yun ay kasi uh, sa ating mga motorista or tingnan natin kung ano yung dumadaan doon. Okay, so, that is very important of planning before any activity to be done. Okay? So, number two, a plan is a step-by-step -step outline of what is to be done and what does and who does what. Okay? So, this is also a, a concept in which uh, you put the right uh, people for the right job. Okay? So, wag kang mag-assign ng tao na hindi alam yung kanyang ginagawa. Especially during uh, important activities. Example, wilder. Uh, naglagay ka doon ng wilder na example, yung project mo is pipe. Mag-wild ng pipe. So, then yung nilagay mo doon is wil uh, wilder na yung specialized niya is for structural or yung sa mga sa mga pang buildings so baka may may magiging problema doon kasi pag nagwi-building tayo ng pipes and let us say uh, structural uh, segments may mga techniques yun eh so uh, especially on on pipes so we need to kuan compress the water na hindi siya maglilik so yun yung magiging problema natin Okay, so that is why we need to put the right personnel for the right job. Okay. Next is management uh, to be successful must be scientific. Okay, so especially for us uh, uh, engineers and future engineers. In every koan, in every decision that uh, we will make, it should have a back, back up it as a data. Uh, may mga backup data tayo for our decision. Okay, so you cannot you cannot uh, decide on kuan lang no? your instinct. So that is not scientific. So kailangan natin ng mga data uh let, let us say data, present data or historical data na magsasabi kung yung ating mga decision is let, let us say viable ba. Or pwede ba? So, hindi pwedeng mag-decide yung ating management by instinct lang. So, dapat scientific. Okay? A study and analysis of the operation of a particular, uh, particular job. Okay? So, this is one na kailangan na i-analyze and study, i-study yung mga operations for a particular job. Okay? So, number two... <clears throat> Develop better methods of increasing production uh, without increasing work time and operating cost. Okay, so this is very good, uh, very good, uh, let us say, strategy. Oh, no? Kasi, in example, if you are on the production company, okay, so you, you will increase your production, oh, meaning, kung kwa nito is nadagdagdagan yung kwa mo, so nag-increase yung possible uh, profit mo nito, while yung operating cost mo is the same. Okay, so this is good for the company. Okay, so that is why for us uh, employees, uh, one thing na titingnan natin is yung, yung possible na, na development ng ating company. Kasi remember na uh, that is where we get our uh, bread and butter for our uh, family. Okay. okay, so management uh, must be humanistic. Okay, so human being preferably should be led by goals that keep us justifiable, worthy, and fair to all concerned. Okay, so this lead to human relations. Okay. Next, uh, management uh, structures. The primary objective is to facilitate the coordination and control over the, the activities of the company. 
Okay, so then in every management structures, no two companies are identical. Okay, so I think walang kambal na company. So lahat talaga is may pinagkakaiba. Okay, so in big companies, there should be delegations of responsibility because number one, it is physically impossible for one person to control all the works or workers. Okay? So, number two, a uh, new person possesses the skills necessary to guide uh, personally the highly specialized activities in a modern construction business. Okay? So, in this koan, we will put the right people for the right, uh, let us say, line, line of work. Say, example, architect. So, put the architect on the planning works, then civil engineer on the civil works, then electrical engineer on electrical work. Okay, so if you are on a big construction uh, company, so ito yung maging department. So, example, department of architects, which uh, the, what they do is planning. Then you have a department for civil engineer, for civil works. So, what are the example of civil works? Example, excavation, uh, let us say the concrete pouring or the the, the steel uh, fabrication or the structural works. Okay, so for electrical engineer, for ele electrical work. Okay, so or etc. or other discipline that required uh, specialized skills. Okay, <clears throat> or let us say engineers. Okay, so... I think we ha we are now on the 17 minute uh, timeline or time. So I think this is all for part 2 of the project construction and management. So so this this koan learning session is more on lecture so there is no solving so more on talking tayo dito guys. So please koan uh Familiarize what I've said then siguro kung ma-remember mo mas maganda. Okay, so I think that is all for uh, today guys. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel. I, I hope uh, na madadagdagan pa yung ating mga supporters para at least makatulong tayo sa ibang gustong matuto sa subject na ito. Okay, so I think that is all guys and thank you for watching. And listening. Thank you.